Hey everyone, another rough cut video here. This one is a uh, an addendum that adds on to the snap mechanic and a lot of other mechanics, but a lot of people will ask, you know, after they throw that snap, after you've got that down, because I know you've practiced it, I know you have this down. Boom, this beautiful delivery of this horizontal shot right to the temple of your opponent. They weren't wearing armor, just knock them out instantly. It was a real sword. We don't go there. Don't break your toys. So this is how you return from that simple snap to your guard in a proper manner. Now, there's a variety of manners, but I'm gonna show you a few of how to return to the various guards that seem to be effective, and some are a little less effective. So, when you start from a shoulder guard, generally you'll have a shield. If you don't, you really shouldn't be fighting single sword like this because the other guy's really good, you're smoked. So, you got a sword and shield, right? So, you roll out and you deliver that snap. What you wanna do is when you deliver that snap, you want to roll it over and return it like it's a it, like you're actually going to block something here even if you're coming back to this shoulder for right now this is what you need to do until you're a, like a really good shieldman a lot of real good shieldmen they'll pop that there and they'll just drag it low or they'll just or they'll just return it back casually if you're not there yet bring it here bring it to a guard and roll it back to your shoulder Boom, roll, boom, you see it here? Boom, I'm facing four edge there, and as I return it, I turn it over, like I'm gonna block an incoming shot, and then I bring it back here. Boom, 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 boom. In the video, wham, now I'm going to wham. Boom, 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 and then you're ready to juke and throw it again, boom. And it, and it ends up being the, like this little flick. You smash them in the side of the head, then you bring it around. Because uh, a lot of times you might smash it into their shield because they raised it and they're throwing a shot and you just bring this quick recovery and their blade pinks off your sword and you're back at the guard again. So that's from the shoulder. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I mostly go from an iron guard, so I'm up here with my sword. So from here, it's a similar sort of thing. Go from here, Deliver your snap to the side of the head, roll it over, bring it up. Deliver it, roll it over, and go for that block, that imagined block that's coming for your head. It's super important to train and keep in mind how you, pretend there's an opponent there a lot of the time. Pretend you're fighting against a shield, pretend you're fighting against a possible attacks coming at you at the same time. That way you develop habits that keep you alive versus, you know, you just throw something and leave yourself completely open and you get killed, you're wondering why. Build in these little things where you block, where you pick it up and you block. So against the Pell, that one from here would be there, still the same, I'm rolling it back and over to protect myself. Here, rolling it back to protect myself. Here, rolling it back to protect myself. Grab the shield real quick. Okay, so I'm facing off with you. I throw that, and then I'm bringing it back here because I'm afraid you're gonna and nail me with your snap. Boom, there. Boom, there. From here, boom, there. Boom, there. And if you want to, you can cycle because if you see them a second time, if you throw your first snap and you start to bring it back and they open themselves up again, you can just tag them again. So. Cycle that recovery and recover to guard almost every time. You recover into a guard, into a protection, and then reload the weapon. And reloading the weapon means placing it back in a position where it's able to strike from. You know, it's, it's like a single action revolver. You have to cock that hammer back. So bringing your weapon here or bringing your weapon back here means that you're able to strike people. Having your weapon still hanging out here somewhere or down here or you know, under your armpit or something. It's not, the weapon's not reloaded. You want to always be a threat there. Later on, you'll get to the point where you kind of fool people, you know, but for now, strike, block, return. Strike, block, return. 
And the good one about this one is boom, boom, I pick it up right there at my guard, and this is actually my loaded position for my next shot. Unlike this one where I have to come back to the shoulder, I'm already loaded. I fire, block, fire, block, instead of fire, block, load, fire, block, load, this one here blocks and reloads the weapon at the same time. Boom. Boom. Okay. So I know you've already done it. You've already mastered the snap. Now take some time. Master that recovery to guard and reloading for your next attack. And rehearse it over and over again. Once you think you really got it down well, go ahead and you can practice it. But make sure you really have it down. I don't want you programming yourself hundreds and hundreds of times with a, you know, a messed up technique. Don't program yourself with stuff that's gonna take you a long time to get rid of later. But go with it. If you got anybody around you to help you kind of work it out, ask them how to, you know, some better fighters, some exceptional fighters, hope, hopefully you've got a teacher now. Talk with them and say, hey, does this look right? And as soon as they tell you, and they're good, not, not, not some goober or some scrub who thinks they're good, but somebody's good says, okay, do it like this, this, and as soon as you guys get it down well, repeat that. That's it. You want to repeat the perfected motion and then go do it hundreds of times. And you don't have to do it fast at first. I'm rambling, but this is really important. You don't have to always hit, you can go slow and then bring it back. Slow, then bring it back. Slower is better in the beginning. You don't want to be going fast until you've really gotten something down. Okay, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.